This video is sponsored in part by the KNAAP podcast on Spotify and by W Energy. What's up everyone and welcome to the studio. This weekend, I'll be going to an art park in Waverly, Tennessee to paint with a few artists that I know in that area. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I prepare for and paint a mural. The first thing I'll do is design what I'll be painting and I'm gonna be using the iPad Pro with my first generation Apple Pencil. I don't like the way the stylus feels on the glossy screen, so I also have a paper-like screen protector. That way it feels more like I'm drawing on paper. I have no idea what I'll be doing this weekend, so I'm starting from scratch, which makes me a little bit nervous because I usually have my design done a few weeks ahead of time but now I've only got a couple of days, so I'm gonna need to work quickly. The idea I came up with was to paint a character that was tripping and falling, because at this art park, the walls are built on a series of hills, so myself and other artists have slipped, tripped, or fallen at some point while trying to paint our murals. So I thought this would be a really funny character to paint in honor of all the artists who have tripped at some point at the walls art park. I love doing artwork that's bright, colorful, satirical, or funny pieces of art. The goal for my artwork is to bring joy to anyone who looks at it. So if I create a piece that makes people smile or laugh, I feel like I've succeeded as an artist. I feel like any artist that's painted at the walls before is gonna see this character and instantly relate to and connect with it. So I'm really excited to paint this at the park. Now that I have my sketch, I just need to go through my checklist and make sure that I have everything that I'm gonna need for this mural because once I'm there, I won't be leaving. I'll primarily be using spray paint, so I need to pack up all the colors that I need. And I usually use a suitcase because that makes it a lot easier to carry all of these paints. I need to get my spray paint caps, which when I first started painting, I didn't even know there were different caps for different things. There's caps for wide sprays, thin sprays, there's caps for high pressure cans, low pressure cans, liner caps, fan spray caps, caps for all sorts of different effects, which I keep all of mine organized in a tackle box. That way I can find what I need when I need it. I'm also gonna need my spray paint mask, a scraper, a step stool, a chair, a paint tray with rollers, an extension pole for the rollers. I'll need to bring my iPad, my camera gear, and my audio gear. So I'm in Waverly, Tennessee, and it is 39 degrees, walking out of the air and be about to head to the art park. And there are suddenly snow flurries and everybody else has already left. So we are about to go get into the thick of it. So we're low on paint and uh, we found this shop that has a graffiti van, so we assume some's in here. So we're gonna break in real quick and see what we can find. I'm 1000% kidding. This shop belongs to the owner of the art park and we're buying spray paint from him because as you can see, it's a great selection. Oh, there's a transparent orange. I really don't need that, but I want it. Also, he has a pet prairie dog, so how do you say no to that? I just got to the walls and now it's time for me to decide which wall I'm gonna paint. There's a lot to choose from but my design's not super tall. So like if I put it on a wall like this one, it's not gonna take up too much space, but I also want my artwork to be visible from the road. Uh, this is visible, but it's not super visible. So I'm thinking about grabbing one of these walls at the very bottom next to the road front. And it's also freezing out here. It is currently 39 degrees in these rolling Tennessee hills. There are snow flurries. I am not a huge fan. I have the wall I want to paint, so now I can take a picture and line up my sketch. My iPad died immediately, so I'm going to go paint something else on the other side of this wall while I wait for it to charge. Yeah, now he's like, yeah, I need to get out there and show you how to use the spray can. I was like, all right, old man, get your ass out here. <laughs> a buddy of mine, Thomas, is painting the wall behind me, so I'm borrowing the top corner before he starts painting over it. I feel like a UFO is a really fun addition before it gets painted over. After charging for a few minutes, I can use my iPad again and get started on my wall. I'm using chalk to outline this character because chalk's not permanent, so if I mess up a line, it'll wash off the next time it rains. Once I'm done with the chalk outline, I can go back over that with black paint. 
and I can instantly tell that this is going to be a lot more difficult because of the cold. The ideal temperature to spray paint is above 59 degrees, so the cold is making the paint separate, so it's running while I'm spraying. Also the cold is making my fingertips hurt, so it's tough to press the cap down. Then, to make things worse, my camera just had an error pop up on it and now I can't record with it. I was trying to do multiple angles, but now I'm down to one camera. But I've got to move forward because at the very least I want to get all of my colors blocked in today. My hands are freezing and I'm messing up more than I'm not, so I'm gonna pack everything up and come back out tomorrow when it's nice and sunny. That's it for day one and we've all spent most of it freezing, so now it's time to relax for a few minutes, warm up before we start recording a podcast for the KNAAP on Spotify. When I saw that there wasn't going to be a fall festival, I was like, we should just go paint anyway and do the podcast, do a video, just do all the things. Yeah, because this is all the shit we intended to do in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we plan to be here for two days and it just decided to snow when we walked out of the house this morning. <laughs> it was snowing today. It was yeah. snowing. It was today. snowing too. Like I wanted to like make a video and be like, "It's mother effing snowing out here," but then I was like, "Wait, sometimes no, it's only like thirty two degrees while we're painting murals. It's not snow." Yeah, I was. And no, like, it was snowing today. And see, knowing my luck, I picked like a weekend that I was actually free and would be available. And then like what a few days ago, it's in like the sixties, seventies, mm -hmm. yeah. and then today it's in the. 30s and 40s. Well, so yes, it's yesterday was gorgeous. Yeah. It's that damn hurricane. Uh, we brought some pieces to show off, I guess, right? Yeah. The piece I brought, I like to call watermelon just because of the color scheme, because it reminds me of summertime. It reminds me of aloof happiness. I can't guarantee it's seedless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I brought two paintings. Uh, one is from my Geeky Animal series, which is a unicorn. Um, I knew immediately that I had something special with that painting because I showed my daughter the sketch and she immediately said, please don't paint that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so it turned out fantastic. It's one of my more popular pieces. And then I did the zebra shirt, which became immensely popular. Right. Uh, and the other piece that I brought, I just finished it. Um, it is a ghost figure named Benny uh, that was also inspired by my daughter. Uh, she brought home a, a ghost uh, cutout from school, and I just dug the shape of it and decided I was going to paint something very similar. I generally call my style automotive-inspired psychedelia because pinstripey stuff. Um, I use watercolor brushes with acrylics in geometric shapes and forms that include brush strokes and dots. And these forms and lines are generally consisted of uh, everything on the color spectrum arranged and layered however I see fit. And they usually fluoresce under black light or glow in the dark or both. Um, every now and again, they get a little sparkly. They're an excellent uh, moving meditation practice for me and I, I enjoy the output and I enjoy the process. So I'm here and I brought my stupid comic book. Um, Yeti shit volume one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> prominently features like the word ew comics with bird shit on it mm -hmm. um, because what more do you expect from a comic book artist besides some inane shit I don't think it's wise to always take life super seriously um, so it's my goal to kind of break that seriousness and sometimes break your brains with like how bad the jokes can be 
but also like how good they can be because I like to think I'm pretty damn funny. The world is a weird place because this awesome woman came by. She started telling me about all of her art or all of my art. She started telling me about how her son and he paints a lot like all of my stuff. And he goes to this mural festival in Waverly, Tennessee. And I was like, really? No kidding, because I'm wanting to get into murals, and that would be a great way to do that. And she's like, well, I'll give you his information. He gave me the website, and that's when I met all of you, was at the art park. Mm-hmm. And it's all because Never Extinct's mom happened to be shopping that day. <laughs> oh, it, it was, it was, dang. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, the world is really small sometimes. All right, I'm back out at the walls and I am not feeling great today, most likely from being outside in this weather all day yesterday until I couldn't feel my fingers or toes. But I'm back out here to finish this piece, so I'm gonna get to work. Today I've gotta to do all of my highlights, shading, and then clean up all of my lines and I will be finished with this wall. I'm back in the studio and I'm pretty sure I had the flu now, so that's cool. I wanna give a huge thank you to Matt, Thomas, and Kat for coming out to paint this weekend. It was so much fun and I can't wait to do it again. Make sure to check out KNAAP on Spotify to hear the full length two hour podcast from the cabin. I also wanna give a huge thank you to Dubby for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for a delicious energy drink that won't give you jitters, check out the link in my description and use affiliate code PDSean at checkout. A massive thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are incredible. If you want to help contribute to the studio and get some really cool stuff while you do, like prints, t-shirts, or to get your names in my video, go to patreon.com slash pdshawn. Or you can check out my website, pdshawn.com, where all of my artwork's available and it ships anywhere in the U.S. for free. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment below if you want to see the full-length podcast video from the cabin. That's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time I'm ready to paint some stuff.